Good morning. This is Pastor Tom Adams of the Good News Bible Church. As we look at the past and compare it to the present, we can readily see vast differences, and for the most part, the changes are a shift away from morality. The conduct and principles that are accepted today would never have been allowed even a few years ago, and they certainly are not approved of by God. There are those who say that the world is improving and they cite the combining of all religions as being what God wants. But this is totally untrue. God only approves of and blesses a church that proclaims the gospel. And the gospel is that Jesus Christ, by his death, burial, and resurrection, has paid for the sins of mankind. And there isn't any work required of us except to believe that his work has done it all. For several years, the gospel of grace has been replaced by a system of works. The Apostle Paul warned of that happening when he spoke to the Galatians. They had begun to believe that they had to obey the law, the Ten Commandments, in order to be saved. He went on to say that whoever told them that should be accursed. Perverse lifestyles are nearly everywhere today. Some are trying to condone what they're doing by changing the interpretation in the Bible. But the Bible is very clear. In Romans 1, verse 27 through 30, it speaks of these people as being worthy of death. Those of us who believe in the sanctity of marriage between man and woman are called intolerant. The Bible says that a child needs a mother and a father as well. And there is no substitute for a father. There are things only a mother can teach a child, and there are things only a father can. Proverbs 23, 22 says a child should hearken unto the father that begat him, and be, and he is not to despise the mother when she is old. In other words, the child should be brought up with love, and only those who follow the Bible teaching know how this is done. The Bible tells us that before the rapture of the believers, sinfulness will be rampant. In 2 Timothy 3, verses 1 through 7, it describes the conditions that are prevalent today. It speaks of people becoming boastful, lovers of themselves and without natural affection, and religions that have a form of godliness but deny the power thereof. Denying the power means that they have denied the power of Jesus and his way of salvation and are teaching salvation through man's efforts. These conditions will be here, and they are in the world today. So the rapture of believers cannot be far away. It could happen at any time. Everything God said must happen prior to it, has been fulfilled. Revelation 13 speaks of the Antichrist and he will come from out of the sea. The sea here actually means masses of people. He will suffer a death wound and will come back to life. This is all deception. Many will be deceived into following him and by his trickery he will reunite all religion. Those of us who have trusted Christ and him alone can see this happening now. This is finalized during the tribulation after the believers have met Jesus in the air. Second Thessalonians 2 Thessalonians 2.3 says that tribulation period will not start until there's a falling away from the truth in churches. This is called apostasy, and it's already here. Very few churches teach that salvation is by faith in Jesus Christ and his payment alone, which is by a death and resurrection he has made the complete payment. We have only to believe in him, When the tribulation begins and all the believers have been raptured, all evil will break out. The Holy Spirit, which indwells every believer, will not be present. There will be many saved during this time, and they will be indwelt by the Holy Spirit, but the general influence in the world will be by the Antichrist. In the world today, there is one who is ahead of the large denomination who recently said, it's not necessary to believe in God in order to go to heaven. He also condones sexual perversion. Yet people regard him as being a great spiritual leader. Another popular preacher is saying that Christianity and Islamic beliefs are the same. This is not true. Biblical Christianity is that Christ Jesus is the one true Savior who is equally God. Islam teaches that Jesus is only a prophet who will convert to Islam. This is nothing short of blasphemy. This has been Pastor Tom Adams. I'd like to invite all of you to our services on Sunday at 9 a.m. and Wednesday night at 7 p.m. Until next time, may the grace and love of God become more real to you each and every day. Goodbye for now. Thank you for listening.